Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with today's tech guest, but we want to give a shout out to our podcast partners, the global community of women in high school sports, Vital Signs Wall of Fame, We Coach, and the Florida Coaches Coalition. You've heard me say it before. These are four great organizations that you should be a part of. And now, don't hit that fast forward button. Please stay with us for the next three minutes. Take a listen to our sponsors' shout outs because they are all great products that you should have at your school. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Gipper for their support of the podcast. Go to gipper.com and see how athletic directors are creating world class marketing content for their school social media channel. You can do it in seconds on any device. You don't need any design experience. Use our code ADPOD10 and you'll get a nice discount. That's gipper.com. We want to thank Hometown Ticketing for their support. Go to hometownticketing.com, and they will show you how to set up and sell your tickets online, not just for athletic events, but things like school plays and concerts, school dances, even graduation. And the best part, you'll have a dedicated client success manager that's providing hands-on support every step of the way. That's every step of the way. Go to hometownticketing.com and get started today. Simple and easy online ticketing. We want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. The Wall of Fame is an interactive touchscreen video console that highlights your school's top performers, both past and present, in athletics, academics, and the arts. But it's so much more than that. The Wall of Fame is also an extensive content program that helps you tell more compelling stories to better engage your audience. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check out their great products. And when you're ready to buy, use the link vitalsignswalloffame.com slash Jake and get 5% off. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check them out today. We also want to say thank you to Huddle. Go to huddle.com and change the way you see the game. Uh, Huddle is going to provide your school, your coaches, your teams, the tools that you need to succeed at the highest level. It's going to be a professional grade solution to the challenges that we all face as athletic directors. At Huddle, we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 6 million users and turn your school into a Huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com right now and schedule a live web demo and see their tables and their boards in action. They not only generate income for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. That's sidelineinteractive.com. Check them out today. We also want to say thanks to Snap Mobile. Go to snapraise.com. Check out their entire suite of platforms designed to help you as an athletic director. There's Snap Connect, Snap Store, Snap Manage, and of course there's Snap Raise, their fundraising platform that we used at our school with great success, and so can you. They even have a program where you can get your fundraising funds before you start your fundraiser. Nobody else offers that. Go to snapraise.com and get started today. That's snapraise.com. We want to thank Sideline um, Interactive. We also want to say thanks to Final Forms. Go to finalforms.com and prepare for your best season ever. Doesn't matter if you're an athletic director, an IT professional, or a superintendent. Final Forms is going to help you and your stakeholders um, handle all the forms that come with athletics. For parents, there's reminders about policies, about physicals for coaches uh, that's going to help with uh, attendance and communication. And for athletic directors, it's going to help you with things like eligibility, and rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. To take the next steps and talk to somebody who gets it, go to finalforms.com slash Jake. That's finalforms.com slash Jake and get started with Final Forms. And we want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect 
comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire program. Athletic directors typically only hear back from that 2%, that squeaky wheel parent or a frustrated student athlete. And we need to hear from them so we can affect positive change in our program. But we also need to hear back from the 98% that love and support our program. And that's where Athletic Surveys comes in. They're going to create a custom survey that allows you to take the pulse of your parents and student athletes. So go to athleticsurveys.com, schedule a demo, and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. Hey, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Uh, Very often, we're able to bring you some true professionals of the uh, industry that have a tech twist to it. And I'm really excited about today's guest, who is Dr. Michael Hutchinson. Dr. Hutchinson is a neuromuscular dentist. Uh, He's in Michigan. Uh, He's also the creator of something called the Power Plus Mouth Guard, which obviously has applications in athletics. But uh, Dr. Hutchinson, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Thank you, Jake. Thanks for having me. Well, again, we've we connected, and uh, again, I thought you'd be a great guest for our listeners. Let's go and start here. Uh, tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, you know, uh, that whole high school, college experience. Uh, then we'll take a break, and then I want you to share about the Power Plus mouth guard. So what's the Dr. Michael Hutchinson story? Well, I grew up in Ames, Iowa. My dad was an exercise physiologist at Iowa State University. So needless to say, we were a sports-minded family. He was a 10-time consecutive racquetball faculty champion until somebody on the 11th time around stepped on his heel and he broke his Achilles tendon. Otherwise, he'd have won it again. But uh, we had tickets to all the sporting events, Iowa State, wrestling, football, basketball, uh, and that's just part of uh, what brought uh, Power Plus Mouth Guard to be. But I grew up there. I went on to uh, Iowa State University, and I graduated there in, with a, uh, a degree in, actually, it was uh, pre-dentistry. And then I went on to Loyola University, the first dental school in the nation back in, started in 1870s. Uh, they closed in 1990, but uh, it was a wonderful dental school, and I uh, practiced in the Chicago area where Loyola was for 10 years, and then I uh, sold my practice and moved up here in Traverse City, Michigan, and uh, moved my family, and I've been here for 25 years, uh, mostly doing uh, what I do, ne- neuromuscular dentistry. So well, uh, for someone that might, uh, you know, not be uh, well versed in that terminology, um, what's different about a neuromuscular dentist from, say, the the rank and file dentist that we go to for our cleanings and our fillings? <laughs> well, I'm a general dentist. And that's the sanctioned specialty of the ADA. But under that, uh, neuromuscular dentistry is concerned with how the teeth fit together in uh, harmony with the muscles. So the skeleton and the teeth and the muscles, they uh, make the mechanism of how your jaw works. And uh, about 2000, it comes to find out that uh, there's this thing called TMJ. And so I started to treat TMJ patients with a little different approach than we were taught in dental school. And frankly, uh, it's uh, not the common uh, approach today, but it is the way the jaw works. And so uh, I started to do a lot of treatment for patients who had migraines, headaches, chronic jaw pain, uh, those types of things with a neuromuscular approach. And that means uh, taking into account the muscle function uh, before the skeleton. The ske- skeleton and the teeth don't really change, but the muscles uh, are the ones that affect everything. And so uh, this is how uh, this different 
approach to mouth guards and uh, how the jaw works uh, started. And that's uh, basically when I started doing that in the, in the year 2000. Okay. Well, I uh, appreciate you sharing that. Uh, once again, for our listeners today, our guest is Dr. Michael Hutchinson. He is a neuromuscular dentist uh, out of Michigan, and he's also the creator of something called the Power Plus Mouth Guard. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Dr. Hutchinson is going to share what that is, and more importantly, you know why you should uh, be aware of it uh, moving forward. So let's take that first break. This is the Educational AD Podcast, and you're listening to Tech Tuesday. Welcome back, everyone, to Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Again, our guest is Dr. Michael Hutchinson. Dr. Hutchinson, um, you know, you shared a little bit about your own background, which is great. I think it always, uh, you know, helps to paint a picture. But let's talk about your creation, the Power Plus Mouth Guard. Uh, you know, what's the story behind it? What was the inspiration? Uh, you know, what is it? And then, obviously, you know, uh, how can our listeners find out more about it? All right, so Power Plus Mouth Guard is all about jaw position. And if you uh, remember uh, or think about how when you played sports, how you fit a mouth guard, you just put it in the hot water and you put it in your mouth and bit down as hard as you could. That's not what uh, the latest technology tells us. The latest technology is called the mandibular physiologic rest position. In other words, there's a unique jaw position for each one of us and it's unique to, to us only. And when your jaw is in that physiologic jaw position, it uh, doesn't block any nerve information to your muscles. And keep that in mind. And it reduces the chance of a concussion down to 0.2% because it dissipates the G-forces as opposed to transmitting them to the brain. Uh, it separates the joint, the ball in the socket, so that when force comes up like an electric current it can't get across that gap so it has to go out away from dispersed from your brain so uh over the last uh, 20 years we've been following athletes uh, in football hockey mainly contact sports but all sports and we've uh, shown a 0.2 percent almost zero concussion rate using physiologic jaw position i didn't i didn't seek out to to discover this thing uh i was treating tmj patients and i was uh helping them feel better and get back to normal get cured if you will and i kept getting reports from my patients that they felt stronger they felt like they had more energy they felt like they weren't tired in the afternoon like they normally were and kept asking me what that was all about and uh, I didn't really know. And so I started to really research at the time, year 2000, uh, if there was anything out there. And there were some anecdotal things that, that pointed to uh, what they were talking about. One uh, was very interesting. I found in Sports Illustrated in 1980, when uh, the Philadelphia Eagles went to the Super Bowl, they started out 0-9. And, and uh, then there was a doctor that was taking an idea similar. He had, didn't have any proof in any instruments to, to study it, but he just anecdotally uh, felt that it would, would help. And he made uh, mouth appliances similar to what we're doing now and put them on the Eagles. And uh, Sports Illustrated interviewed Dick Vermeil, and he said he didn't do anything different. The doc put these mouth guards in and we started winning. Um, he was a he was a coach at the Polynesian Hall of Fame Bowl, which I've been the so the uh, sponsor, the, the official mouth guard for the last seven years. And so I asked him. I said, I said, you're my hero. And he's like, why, why am I your hero? And I told him the story. And he goes, that's absolutely true. I'm telling you right now, that's absolutely true. So that was a pivotal article that I read that that you could actually change a job position and get a benefit out of it. And at the, at the time it was just strength. And so um, right about that time, uh, a local celebrity here, he was the police chief and the fire chief, and he made it on the USA powerlifting team. He was over 65 years old. And he uh, had won the national championship with a bench press of uh, 398 pounds. And in 
this article they wrote about him, they he said, well, I, I'm going to Prague and I, I want to break the world record. I've never lifted more than 398 pounds, but I'm really working hard. The world record is 435 pounds and I really want to uh, break that record. And I called him up cold and I said, out of faith in my part, I said, I, I can get you the world record. And uh, he was very interested and uh, he came over. I made him a mouth guard. And that night he lifted 455 pounds and got scared and quit because he thought he was going to get hurt. But uh, he got up to 525, went over to Prague, broke the world record for 65 and older at 455 sanctioned lift and uh, held that record for 10 years. So I knew that there was, there was uh, something important about physiologic job position. So I started testing it. Uh, with my son's football teams. He was in eighth grade and there was a Catholic school uh, in our town. Uh, and I got uh, an orthodontist friend of mine whose sons were on the team. I got th those boys too. So there was a hundred boys. I, I followed them for six years. Their average increase per team was about 25% increase in strength. St. Francis, uh, won five state championships in a row and my son's teams were uh, three years undefeated and had winning seasons, which uh, all six years, which was unheard of uh, for them. And uh, so I knew that the strength was, uh, was a byproduct of physiologic job position. And um, that six years, not one boy had a concussion, not one of the hundred. And so that was a that was a game changer there. Wayne State University uh, heard about it. And their biomedical engineering department called me and asked me if they could study strength increase. And they did and wrote a paper and produced uh, it internationally and showed a 16.8% increase in strength, overall strength. Uh, but that equates to... Uh, power lifting, running, jumping, hitting the golf ball, anything that you need strength, you already have on the average 16.8% strength in you, you're just being blocked by your jaw position. But uh, from that point on, concussions was becoming a big thing. And so uh, we, we continued to study concussions over that uh, next nine years. And we've had nine concussions out of uh, 8,000 uh, athletes studied. And uh, again, Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine got a word of that and wanted to study concussions. And they showed a 0.2% in concussions with a, uh, a mouth guard made to your physiologic job position. One thing, one anecdotal thing I'll tell you is there was a there was a team there was a high school team out in California, uh, Corona Santiago, who had 180 players in their program, and they didn't want to buy 180 Power Plus mouth guards, so they bought 90 and put it on their best players, and the other players had to fend for themselves, and there were no concussions in those 90 kids. And in the in the group that had their own mouth guard, there were 16 concussions. So uh, that was a pretty monumental study that they did. I I didn't have anything to do. That's something they did. But I'm, I know if I was a parent, I'd be I'd have been a little bit irritated that my son was chosen to not have the physiologic job positioning mouth guard. So uh, since then we've. Uh, in, in 2011, I started selling it online and I started uh, speaking all over the country, trying to change the paradigm of a mouth guard and what it can do. Because, you know, uh, a mouth guard was invented, the current mouth guard was invented in 1950 by the American Dental Association because some Notre Dame players were breaking their teeth and Life Magazine wrote an article about it. So the ADA came up with a mouth guard and started promoting it in 1973, the NCAA uh, made a rule that uh, every player had to wear one. But if you watch the games, uh, a lot of them don't wear it, you know, 
because nobody likes to wear that mouth guard because it it uh, impedes your breathing. It uh, you, you can't talk with it. It's cumbersome. It's it's not comfortable. So people try every way possible to not wear it or or change it so that it doesn't cause those problems. But Power Plus mouth guard uh, was designed uh, according to physiologic jaw position, and that has to be on your lower teeth, not on your upper teeth. So that renders everything uh, different than what you're used to, and you can talk with it. Your oxygen is increased. You can breathe normally. Um, it increases your balance, your strength, and reduces the uh, impact of or G-forces of concussions. It goes on the lower arch, not the upper arch, and that is very, very significant. And it ha it's not difficult to fit, but it's not. We we, we don't want to know where you can bite. We want to know where your physiologic jaw position is. So so that's the that's a huge difference between what you're used to with a mouth guard uh, and what physiologic jaw position is. Right. Uh, great information there. Uh, I, I think most of us, you know, listening, uh, you know, knew about the concussion prevention benefit uh, for mouth guards and, you know, the, the teeth uh, protection as well. Uh, I was not aware of the connection between the physiological jaw position and strength. That's pretty impressive, uh, um, you know, performance difference, uh, you know, with versus without. And the um, story you mentioned about the school in California, about, you know, buying it, you know, for the uh, the best players. You're absolutely right. That's a, a lawsuit waiting to happen. But that's a that's something for another story. Right. Uh, doctor. Um, um, obviously, you know, we, we got you on here to promote the product. I, I, I think it has tremendous, uh, you know, benefits for our listeners and their coaches, student athletes, et cetera. So let's ask the big question, you know, how do they find out more? How can they get, uh, the pro power plus mouth guard? Yes, of course. You can go onto the website at powerplusmouthguard.com and you can see all the information you can learn more about physiologic job position you can order one it'll be sent to your office or your house or wherever you want it sent and it's uh there's a uh, videos on there that uh, show how to fit it and it's really important that you do that it's not difficult but uh, it must be done correctly or else you're going to not get all the benefits that you can so it's powerplusmouthguard.com and I'm going to guess on the website, uh, there's ways that they can reach out and contact you for more information as well. Yes, my uh, number and my email is on there. So okay. uh, this is so important. Every parent should really know this information. I really appreciate you bringing me on so we can reach as many people as possible because uh, things change. And uh, the mouth guards that their kids are wearing right now is 73 years old. Our helmets aren't 73 years old. Our shoulder pads aren't, our shoes, our pants, nothing but the mouth guard. But you know what? The concussion rate is the same as it was 50 years ago because this part of the, the skull is being ignored and not being considered. And this is the missing link right here. You, Everything else is good. It's just the mouth guard makes you more susceptible to a concussion makes you weaker. The current one is what I'm talking about, the one that we're used to. It, it positions your jaw away from your physiology and that is not safe. So physiology, physiologic jaw position is the new normal. Yeah, and, and that's a great point. Uh, you know, I uh, went to high school in the early 70s, played college football in the late 70s. And then my son uh, played college football in, um, you know, the, the 2000, you know, two uh, thousands and we have the exact same mouth guard. Uh, I, I just realized that that's uh that's kind of crazy. I know the helmets were a lot different cause I still have my college helmet and he had his. So uh, great, great points. Uh, one more time, doc, what's the website and how do they get in touch with you? It's power plus mouth okay. And all the contact information, all the information, all the contact the information is there. Um, the email is uh, powerplusmouthguard at gmail.com okay. if you want to email me. Uh, and uh, if you if you have a team and you want to outfit your team, 
definitely get a hold of me. You can do it on the website, but uh, things work out better if you just get a hold of me and, and we can get it all set up. And I want to point out too, is that we think of mouth guards for contact sports, but uh, physiologic job position is needed for every sport. What, what sport don't you need balance, uh, strength, um, you know, being able to speak, uh, there is none. So uh, the mouth guard technology nowadays is 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 different and uh, much 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 improved. Yeah. So athletic directors, you know, sport coaches, you know, strength and conditioning coaches, you know, check it out, see how it can help your student athletes in your program. Dr. Michael Hutchinson, thanks so much for uh, coming on Tech Tuesday today, and all the best moving forward. Thank you. Thank you for having me. See you later. Absolutely. Uh, for our listeners, we do this every single week and just about every day with new content on the podcast. And we upload the Zoom videos to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening. Come back next Tuesday for another tech tip. And thanks again for listening to the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for listening to this segment of tech tuesday before we go we do want to give a shout out to our sponsors gipper go to gipper.com hometown ticketing uh that's hometown ticketing.com uh want to thank huddle go to huddle.com snap mobile you'll find more information at snapraise.com uh, athletic surveys uh, go to athletic surveys.com uh, sideline interactive sidelineinteractive.com uh, final forms, uh, go to finalforms.com. And for vital signs, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. We only have eight sponsors. All eight are companies that I have used personally uh, and would recommend them 100%. So please check them out. Uh, they'll help you run your program better. Thanks again for listening to Tech Tuesday. We'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast.